are so torn. So this week, we're showing you our last two weapons. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Darth Sloan here. And we just saw a very exciting announcement from Expansive Worlds and Jaxi. He just streamed the new update that's coming out in March. So as you saw there, two. We are getting ready to meet two new additions to the Hunter Call of the Wild. Two new guns. And what about next week? If we're getting two guns shown off to us today, then what does that leave for next week? And toward the end of the, this stream, Jaxie talks about he was kind of surprised that he thinks it's going to be very popular. So what in the world could that be? Um, and next week is just as, it's just as exciting. I, next week is all about the the update that comes with it that everybody is going to get and what it's loaded with you guys are going to love it i know you guys are going to like it i know you're going to appreciate it it's hard to say what i'm most excited about this weapon pack or the new features that are coming to the hunter call of the wild it I, i'll leave it to you guys i don't want to raise the bar too high but i'm excited about it <laughs> And that part of the update, the DLC, which he still hasn't told us the name of because it would give it away, that part of the update is going to be a complement to what we're getting with the paid DLC. Everyone's going to get it. It's completely free. And part of it has surprised him, but he thinks it's going to be very popular. And part of it is something that he himself, longtime hunter and been playing since the very beginning, it's a very popular thing that, there's something that he has asked for for a long time. So what could that be? So one thing that he's wanted and probably a lot of us have wanted for a long time. And then one thing that has surprised him. But let's look once more at last week's 308 in case you missed it. He showed it off one more time. Let's have a look. You've all seen the 308. Absolutely gorgeous. Nice to have it in a bolt action, just to even it out. All right, guys. So there you go. That is the 308. I'm pretty excited about it. I will probably use it instead of the Zarza because it's going to feel a little bit more to me like a hunting gun. Um, so I will probably use it because I, I use a bolt action myself in real life. I use a 270 Savage. Um, so we will see. But I'm going to say I will probably use all three of these guns at some point. You know, um, they're all going to have their their place. Well, let's just hop right on into it. So without further ado, let's look at the new shiny things. But let me introduce to you, my friends. I love it. I absolutely love it. The brand new Bolt Action 7 mil, as some of you have guessed, this thing is a beast. That's right, we finally got it, my friends. We've got the Bolt Action 7 mil. Wow, a Bolt Action 7 millimeter. And to kind of balance things a little bit, because we've always had the 7 millimeter in the game, it was a one shot. So it's not really a grinding weapon, but it was one of those weapons that would help you put down that big moose because that was one of the things on Layton that you kind of struggled with when you were first starting out, that little 243 with the full the free bullets. The 243 with the free bullets, we all remember those struggles trying to shoot a moose and like, well, how can't we kill this thing? And you had the seven millimeter finally. But the seven millimeter, what's so good about it? And they had to balance it by letting it hold three shells. But what's so good about it is it's one of those guns. I can see me using it on Revan Thule, for example. On Revan Thule, there are, I do a lot of just running through the forest. Uh, because there are steel diamonds that I need on that map. And I like to do what I call just a surprise variety hunt, you know, when I step away from the grind, because I do grind a lot. But I like to sh just run through the forest, and with those birds, when they fly up, I'll shoot them or whatever. But occasionally, I'll scare off a moose or a whitetail or something, and or a bear. 
a Lynx. I got a Diamond Lynx the other day. So the thing about the 7 millimeter, having it on you, it eliminates a gun, for example. You don't have to carry the 308 on you and the 300, right? Um, so it is a very utility tool type of gun, really. That allows you to pack that shotgun and have your 22 on you and have the tw uh, the 243 on you, you know, for the small game and just pack that that seven millimeter. You know, that would probably be my loadout for for Revan Tooley now. But the big daddy, the one that tops them all, in my opinion. Let's have a look at it. We are dethroning. The 300 for your go-to for those big old battles out there with the big game. It's not the hardest hitter in game, but it is absolutely the go-to. And uh, let me introduce to you the new 5 mag 338. Get it, baby. I am so excited for this. It is modeled after the 338 Lapua. It is a beast. The 338 boat action holds five shots, people. Five, five shots. That will be in my loadout. Now, not when I'm on Revan Tooley running around variety hunting, okay? That will be my grinding gun. When I say I'm going to go put down a bunch of moose, when I'm target, when all I'm shooting is moose, I'll have the 338 boat action in my loadout, okay? Bear, lions, when I say I'm just going to go after them specifically, when I'm not doing a variety hunt, the 338 will be in my loadout, okay? Uh, when I target those big game like that, because it's a beast. I mean, it's, a, it's an absolute beast. And the 300 has been my baby this whole time for my grinding, but the 338 will be my new one, you know? And I, I'm glad they put it in. I'm glad they put it in. It's, uh, it's been requested. So, but like I said, there's going to be times when I'm going for a variety hunt that I go with the seven millimeter instead. I won't have both of those guns on me at the same time. I don't think I, I don't, I don't see me packing. Like if I have the 338 on me, then I'm going to have other, you know, guns. Uh, I'll have the seven millimeter when I'm trying to eliminate a gun. It's just going to be, you know, different times. Okay, so we know they're the seven millimeter, the three oh eight, and the three thirty eight. What are their names? Um, this Sarugi, I think I'm saying that right. The Sarugi L R R three three eight, modeled after the the three three eight Lapua. I love it. The Malmer seven mm Magnum and the Olson model twenty three three oh eight are all coming to a theater near you. Oh. And when exactly is this going to release? This is arriving on March 14th. Now, one of the big questions that people ask all the time is, is going to come out on PC a month before it comes out to Xbox, to PlayStation, or is it going to be a sim ship? Let's see what Jaxie had to say on that issue. Unless something dreadfully happens between now and then, uh, and I th don't believe that's possible at this point, we are looking at a sim ship. Everybody will get their hands on it. All right, so one of the things that I've noticed when Jaxie was hunting with the 308 last week is even it, it used the same ammo, and it seemed like it penetrated more. And it's just, it could just be that there's something with a gun because same kind of deal with the Zarza 22. Kind of different. Use the same ammo as a regular 22. But when you shoot on the ground to get an animal to go alert, for example, if you use the Zarza, it spooks the animal. If you use the Vibrant, the 10 round 22, it goes alert. And that it'll turn around and give you that broadside shot you're looking for or whatever. So even though it's the same ammo, the gun, the bullet reacts differently in the gun. So I wonder if that's going to be the case with these new guns. But what type of ammo? Are they all going to use the same ammo? Let's see what Jaxie has to say. 
let's go ahead and jump in here and take a look at the ammo. It's the same as you'd expect. Three is the same. Three three eight's the same. Seven mils the same. So you're gonna have the same effective range, expansion, uh, expansion, penetration, all that jazz. There's okay. Another thing that people are wondering about is the fur fix, and I think we had talked about it a little bit before, but it was good to hear a confirmation from Jaxie on it. So let's hear what, exactly what he had to say about the fur fix on the moose. Um, I, there's the one thing I can tell you that I have seen for certainty is there is a fix for the uh, the furs rendering incorrectly. Uh, specifically, it's been on moose a lot, but there that was an issue that came up with the last patch. So uh, and and we the data is there, so it'll be reverted. So if you have a great one in there, right, a great one moose, it'll be reverted back to what it was. Let's take a look at these on the range and see what they look like. This, you know, we've had some great weapon packs. We really have. But this, by far, I think is going to be one of the most used. Listen to that. Oh, it's got a beautiful sound, don't it? And the irons, it's, uh, the visibility, man. I, I kind of like it. All right, let's get that 7mm out and put it through the paces a wee bit. The uh, the irons are really open on it, really open. I quite like it. Oh, I guess I should do a reset here. Hold on. Um, I'm standing too, so like you're seeing the full recoil at a full stand, right? So not bad, not bad recoil. Let's get a, a couple from the hip. It's actually a lot more manageable, which you would expect from the 7mm, right? You would, you'd expect that. One more look in case you missed it last week. Here is the 308. Uh, I, it's, hey, I didn't, I didn't do that. I must have. I pushed the wrong button. Um, it's, uh, it's a really nice addition to our, to our, uh, our loadout. You know, we have it in the, in the modern rifle weapon pack, but you have to remember, not everybody owns everything. Oh, I just kind of flubbed that a little, but you can see it's real nice. Hip shot. So next week, I'm going to, uh, we're going to spend the stream. Well, of course, recap the weapons and stuff, uh, but uh, I'm going to show you guys. Um, what is a game changer? I, I truly believe it's going to have a, a big impact. Um, I, I'm very excited about it. I, it's something I've wanted in game for quite some time. And uh, the other one caught me a little by surprise. Uh, and I can really appreciate what they're going for and i know it will be popular so uh yeah really excited that's next week that's next week all right guys so i'm i'm really 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 hyped about next week and i'm just i don't know um something that that we've all wanted or that at least jaxie has asked for for a long time it's free with the dlc it complements the paid version of the DLC. And then one thing surprised him. What could that be? What could that be? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comment. What are you predicting? Um, now, he's going to show us those things that we can expect next week. And then the following week, it'll be released. It'll be here. It'll be here. So I'm hoping for early access. Be nice to get it this weekend, but probably next week sometime we'll get the early access i would say but uh as soon as i get the green light to be streaming this stuff guys i will be streaming it and showing you all the goods uh but anyway i'm pumped the 338 if nothing else this this to me in my opinion this is the best weapon pack ever put out it really is um in the future i'd like to see a new lodge i'd like to see a new dog those things you know of course a new map but that would be june and december but let me know your thoughts in the comments guys if you like the video if you want to see more let me know in the comments like the video subscribe if you haven't and help me out with those watch hours guys we're trying to build the channel follow us over on twitch darth underscore sloan you guys we'll see you in the next stream